I ran some nmap scan. So the nmap scan themselves, <laughs> themselves, the nmap scans revealed a couple of things. So first of all, we have port 22 and port 80 open. So port 80 is going to be a website, obviously. Let's take a deeper look into what we actually have, which is some HHS, uh, SSS, SSH server 8.2. I don't think that's our way in. I guess our way in will be over the website. It's running a 2.4.41. Not sure if it's up to date or if it's something a bit older, but we will find out. What I did learn from the machine info is that there is a local file inclusion vulnerability um, and something to do with LaTeX, which, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do we have over here? We have, well, this is the homepage of the topology group of Prof. Lilian Klein at Miskatonic University. We are situated in the Department of Mathematics located on the Eastern Campus. Now, topology... But those of you that don't know, let's go on a quick tangent. So um, maybe you've seen some crazy things like this in the past where people are like, oh no, um, what can I do to escape this? Well, you do some magic stuff and then voila, you're free. Or, oh, I have a cable that's stuck here. How can I free it without cutting it? Well, you do this magic brick, trick and then for some reason you can free it. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's too complicated for me. And um, I think there's, it's also related to knot theory or knot theory is a subset of topology. Um, it's a really nerdy topic. I like to watch videos about it. And um, if you can't tell, but as to the inner workings, no idea. Why does this work? I mean, it looks pretty cool. What? Huh? How did that happen? Did I miss it? Well, that's what topology is. So it makes sense to have them in the department of mathematics. And as we all know, as soon as you start some PhD, you're gonna do something with LaTeX. Obviously, you're gonna write your thesis in LaTeX. You're gonna read some LaTeX code. I don't know why, mostly because you can use mathematics symbols in it, but there's Pandoc for that now. So do we really need LaTeX? We have a couple of links, but they seem to all point, uh, so if you watch down there, they seem to all point to hashtag, which means they're just some anchor links to this same page. So if I click on it, no, essentially nothing happens. All right, let's go to the LaTeX equation generator. And it looks like we have to add another entry into our host file. Okay, we've got something. And the first thing you're gonna see is we can enter something and this thing will generated and um, now we maybe need to like find out what LaTeX actually can do. So the cool thing is um, they give us some examples. So why use LaTeX in the first place? All right, we enter this code here. Boom, we get this equation. Fantastic. Sorry. Now we have local file inclusion. So this means maybe there is like a LaTeX command to include contents of a file input and include okay input in okay so what does this do use this command in the document body to insert the contents of another file named text this file should not contain any latex preamble code blah 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 but you know what let's try with the simple one which is let's see it has word generate illegal command detect that sorry okay now one thing i can certainly say about mathematics or mathematicians is that they don't know how to set up a server so they had the link that led us directly to here but let's go into the index of this page instead of just the how do you say it the generator fantastic okay we have aux hey pass me the aux cord come on maybe i should have learned a bit of latex in my time at university what was it called equation test equation test text dum dum in here we have our file here called equation test now we're gonna use the much better editor than nano which is called vim and we are gonna check the equation text. A, B, okay, what's this one? 
Is it the one that it shows? No, it's not that one. We have the equation tag. Um, it doesn't tell us very much, actually. It just has like one equation in it. I mean, what did I expect from, <laughs> from an equation test text? Let's go into the header because the header will actually provide us with a ton of more information, like what libraries are we using in this project? And we have uh, input encoding for graphic files, a euro currency symbol, set, nice font, text, default font is not my style. <laughs> then we have include source code files or print inline code. Hey, that sounds exactly like what we need. LaTeX listing means library. Listings, consider it slightly outdated to do lacking maintenance. Okay, that sounds like the perfect target for us. Now, the question is, do you have some example in LST input listings? Okay, let's take this command and then let's go to the equation. Let's go in here and come on again with this one buttons. And then, uh, because LaTeX always uses these things, Etsy possible. I mean, if it doesn't work, we can check out if the syntax is correct. Cannot be displayed because it contains error. Okay. And I have like a documentation or something, but it wants to add it as an image. Is there a way to have it like as a math thing? What's it called in LaTeX? Inline. I think it's like an inline thing. LST inline prints code snippets, LST input listing whole files, and LST listing pieces of code. I think they're doing it with pictures. I mean, yeah, sometimes hacking is just reading documentation as well. The listings package defines the math escape key, which lets dollar escape to text math mode. This makes the dollar character an excellent candidate for our purposes. Include the graphic set, include the graphic between two dollar sides. Okay, you know what? Let's just try it with this dollar signs. Who would have honk that we will be using LaTeX? Mm. And it works. And it works. And it works, 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 works. Fantastic. We can access the file system. Now we only need to access uh, something that we can actually make sense of. Let's do a quick enumeration of the machine, shall we? Shall we? Did I say that correctly? Um, we could try to enumerate, edit, see what it's called, the pair two, and then site enabled, and then zero 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 default dot con. Now, uh, don't worry if it looks like magic. I daylight as a teacher for software development and informatics, and uh, one of the modules that I teach is about setting up an Apache web server. So I kind of know this path almost by heart. Oh, ha -ha, we got the web server configuration. Two virtual hosts. Okay, so we have one that's here. A server named Topology HTB. Yeah, we got that one. Then we got Latex Topology. Yeah, we got that one as well. A third one, and which is dev.topology. How many are there on <laughs> what? So we have a dev. And then what do we have here? A stat. Okay, so that's that's all of them then, I guess. All right, fantastic. Let's take a look at those other websites. Stats.topology.htb, which shows me the server loads. All right, and do we have to DDoS this thing? And then we have the dev.topology.htb. Wait. We need a username and password, but we have the configurations over here. Okay, so let's go to the dev one. Uh, dev document root. Uh, come on. Where could the thing be? I mean, yeah, that's a pretty simple thing. Let's save this image in the meantime into our topology. No, into our topology thing. Save equation PNG. Let's open it over here. So, oh, come on. Can I not double, ah, duplicate tab. Fantastic. And in here we will access what's it called? War www. I think it was called dev. We have the stats. We have the HTML, latex. All right, all right. And the dev. Okay. And then the dot reach the access. And we have the out file user HTTP. SWD. Okay, okay. 
he has wd boom and then we have uh, something that's hash so let's crack a password once more and uh, is there an easy way how i can do this maybe i can use the power of ocr uh, since this is a png and not actual text let's just copy the x t y zero i hope that's correct please be correct what's it called now Daisley. and let's just um, run john the ripper because uh, Apparently that's a thing we do now in every stream. Um, and what was it again? John, boom, we have our word list. Can I pass the word list first? So I can like save time in a future stream where I need to crack password again. And paste, boom, hash days. What did we hack this for? For this one, exactly. So we have Vaisley in here, Vaisley. And the password is calculus20. Come on, I use. Are you for real? Calculus 20. Hey, are you kidding? What? Sorry, we basically and here Calculus 20. Okay, so it worked out. Klein and Daisley Topsoft. What's happening over here? A latex equation generator coming soon. PHP my ref DB. Web application and database to keep track of your references supports BibTeX import and export. Skills forced run, okay. Octave, so they're not using MATLAB at least. We are just using it to access, uh, what's it called, the website. But let's try if um, they're also suffering from one of the most common things um, that you encounter, which is that they're reusing the same password over and over again. Call Clueless 20 and we're in. Okay, um, I mean, pretty sure this is the user flag. So let's just check out if we got a user flag. We have a user flag. Now let's grab this. Let's paste it in here. Let's submit it. User flag owned. All right, perfect. We're in. If you want to find out how we can now leverage this Linux environment to become a root user, you should tune in on next week's live stream or watch the VOD next week. And I hope to see you there.